What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the living room. We're the Octobers. <laughs> what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the living room. We're the Octobers. <laughs> You're so aggressive, bro. <laughs> Chill. You gotta relax. Okay. <laughs> What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the living room. We're the Octobers. Today, we are checking out some more X-Men. As you know, we've checked out one, two, and three, and we are so excited to get into four because we have to know no <laughs> we have to know more about our boy Logan. So hopefully, today, with X-Men Origins Wolverine, we will find out some more. If you are new here, like, subscribe, join the channel, man. We post as much as we can a couple times a week, and let's go. Let's go. 1845. We're going way back. You're always sick. <coughs> you were sick when you were my age. Evening, sir. Evening, Victor. Any better, son? Still cold, father. Just a mild fever. You'll be all right in the morning. You always say that. <laughs> and you always pull through, don't you? Oh, he hates him. father's drunk again you should help him home victor it's not my name he's calling sir oh. father stay where you are james father this might have fired the musket that was like the shining right there There are things you don't understand. Don't. The guy I need him to know. Please, no. No more lies. Oh my gosh. Is James Logan? No! Bro. Hey. He ain't sick no more. He wasn't your father. What? So. So he just killed his dad. I mean, he wasn't a very good dad if he didn't tell him. Very confusing. But he's giving Logan vibes. That I kid. didn't mean it. I yes, mean you it. did. He deserved it, and he gave it to him. We're brothers, Jimmy. You realize that? And brothers protect each other. We stick together no matter what and take care of anyone who gets in our way. They're coming. Can you run? Man, that'd be a running. tough life. Don't look back. This was probably like way before they knew what mutants were, right? Right, this was like super rare. So they probably tried to take them out like the witches back in the Salem days. Yeah, they probably thought they were like summoning witchcraft. Yeah. Not in. Weary. Revolutionary War. Oh, that's why we won? Because Logan was there? And Cotton Weary. Man. Oh, I had Ghostface out there too. Hot and Weary, aka Kingpin. He's gonna be a villain. Oh my gosh, and another war? Will I am. One. Say, get down, brother. Dang, so I bet growing up, people in the comics were like, there's nothing more American than Wolverine. Like, he's more American than Cap. Too. That man's got a triple crown. Oh. That literally looks like that Saving Private Ryan scene. Yeah, he was there. Like, what is it? Peg Lowers? Oh. Back. <laughs> Look at his. <laughs> they made Wolverine a fine instrument of warfare. <laughs> Let's go. Is this the K dub? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Wolverine's getting them out of there because they just won't stop killing everybody. Stand down, soldier! He has a bad side to him. Yeah, this man, that went crazy. Well, it's Cotton Weary. Of course he has a bad side to him. Wow. So they've been fighting just as soldiers. No one knew about their stuff, right? Wake me when it's over. Wake me when it's over? What does that mean? So Wolverine had claws before the metal ones. Right. That's crazy. Guys. That was a really cool intro, if you want me to be honest. 
They're gonna take his claws out and replace him. My with name metal. is Major William Stryker. Bill. You've been charged with killing a senior officer. The warden tells me that your sentence was carried out by a firing squad of ten hundred hours. How'd that go? It tickled. <laughs> you boys tired of running? Tired of denying your true nature? Look, you can stay here locked up like freaks of nature, or you can join me. I'm putting together a special team with special privileges. Oh, like Nick Fury. Now tell me, how would you like to really? Serve your country. Yeah, I wouldn't trust a cotton dude though. That man would turn on you like a rabbit animal. <laughs> Your water, I need some more of that. You know, I love this weapon more than any other thing in the whole wide world. You wanna know why? No. Come <laughs> on, no. It's memorable. Sure, it's a little bulky, tough to get on a plane. You whip out a couple of swords at your ex-girlfriend's wedding, they will never, ever forget it. That's funny, Wade. Why would you do that? I think you confuse me with someone who gives a shit. <laughs> Granted, it's it's probably not as intimidating as having a gun or bone claws or the fingernails of a bag lady. Baby, that's the guy that plays Deadpool right there. That guy right there? I haven't seen it. I really haven't, but uh, I know that that guy plays him. Manicure. That's right. Uh, Easy. I haven't seen anything with him in it, I don't think. He Fred played like three guy. I'm concerned. Oh, Jesus. Fred, you just met her last night. I love her. You love her after one night. <laughs> She's a gymnast. Boo, that guy's a douche. Bradley, <gasps> I just saw Charlie. So if you're a Lost fan, I know you're loving it, but the Lost references are flying in my head right you're now. You're gonna puke? If we were meant to fly, we'd grow wings. Uh, don't worry, Nancy, more people die driving well, than flying. Is gonna be How about from impaling? Mm -hmm. Hey, be nice. For the pilot. Gentlemen, wheels down in Lagos in five. I thought it was called Lagos the whole time. Whoa. Dude, he's got a tough squad. Yeah, why are they walking like that, though? I'm loving that Charlie's in it. He's a mutant? If he is, dude, that's... I mean, obviously he is, but I hope he stays in the series. I don't know if they're all mutants. That one guy only had a sword. Yeah, he's gonna mutant your ass to death with that sword. Why are we here? All in good time. Zero. Intruder! We're able to breach! Have your weapon! Dang. That's what I was saying, like for real. He's a mutant with them guns. What's his name? Dual pistols? Yeah. Looking like Romanoff. That's what I'm saying. Having fun yet? <laughs> Mr. Two Shot. Fred? The tank. The tank. Yeah, I got that. Bro, he has got the same exact personality as in Lost. Oh my gosh. He reversed that tank like that? Dude, is he Deadpool, like, but without the costume? I don't know. Is this like Deadpool's origin story as well? Come on, the elevator. I, just, the elevator. I honestly don't know. Does Deadpool have swords on his back? Um, from Fortnite, yeah, he does. Does he? Yeah, because I, bro, like season seven or some way to do that. Way to go collect them things. Time to go to work. Y'all can probably tell she plays a lot more Fortnite than me. Yeah, but I didn't know it was that guy. I, didn't, I never run past him. <laughs> wow. What the heck? How is he so good with swords? Okay, people are dead. You didn't have that, that mouth was nuts. Anyway. You'd be the perfect soldier. <laughs> did you see what he did? He went. Yeah. I wouldn't do that if I was you, brother. Take the diamonds. They are yours. I don't want your diamonds. I want this. But that is nothing. A souvenir. Where did you find it? I want the source. A small village. Far inland. Three days from here. Tell him this rock is more valuable to me than his life. You think it was a brainium? Where he found it. Maybe yeah. some Wakanda yeah. jump? No, remember a brainium or a brainium is like there. What they use for his cause. Right. Uh, They're in Africa, though. He says it came from the sky. Tell him everyone here will die unless he tells me where he found the rock. He says that it's sacred. Oh no. Don't even think about it. We didn't sign up for this. They need 
They need to bury him in a concrete cell somewhere. That dude's dangerous. Well, they obviously use him for that. You heard, Honey, you saw him. We finally got a good thing going here. Don't you screw this up. It's enough, it's enough. I'm done. You coming. Jimmy! We can't just let you walk away. James Jimmy Logan said, watch me. Jimmy! Is that his middle name? Or did they give him a new name when they gave him the surgery? Because when he threw the tags off, guys, it makes me think that maybe that's why he forgot who he was. Right, because his tags that he had said Wolverine. Right. And this probably was 40 years before 2008. I wouldn't try to do that math, because then you need to know on like the Vietnam War and all that stuff is and the comments. I was just shit. going based off Stryker, because I don't think he's a mutant. Why are you up so early? Come here. Oh, he's happy. That's kind of cool until you're like hungry. That's exactly what I was thinking, but I didn't want to be annoying. Go on right into town to get bread, innit? See you, baby. Hey. <laughs> I bet he's going to have a great day. Chopping wood with the bros. <laughs> Look at Charlie. Hey, what do you do? If you turn off the light, you win a prize. Three tries for a buck. There you go. Okay. Well, that's obvious. That's two. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Lots of stupid trick. It's not a trick, man. Come on. Oh, I mean, I'd be marketing that, right? I'd be making them big bucks. <laughs> You'd be on YouTube, wouldn't you? Mm, yeah, maybe. And I'd be on the network somewhere. So he's like Nikola Tesla. I said, show's over. Victor. Aren't you going to invite me in? Why would I? Yeah. Come on in. I'd be like, please don't scratch my trailer up. <laughs> You know, I've never said anything to anyone about what happened. I'm living a totally different life now, Victor. No need to bring up the past. I always thought it would be Wade who'd come knocking at my door. Wade's gone. Man, don't kill Charlie, bro. Wade's gone. Not yeah, he done killed him. I'm not afraid of dying. Well, that pisses me off, dude. I really, really was stoked to see that character in the movie. Was it the wars? Oh, so she knows. Mm -hmm. Which one? Yeah, you can't hide that. All of them. Clean living. Remember Agent Zero? Still shooting first, asking questions later. <laughs> you still chewing on cheap cigars? I have a job for you. I already have a job. Lumberjack. 18 grand a year? Yeah. Zero. <laughs> Back to the car. Had a boy. <laughs> What do you want, Stryker? Bradley was killed three days ago. Wait before that. I believe that someone is hunting down our old team. I can take care of myself. This is not about you, Logan. Your country needs you. I'm Canadian. <laughs> I know you, Logan! I know who you are! So he changed his name to Logan. Yeah, it seems like it. And he moved to Canada. Life. Yeah, became a lumberjack. What's wrong? Stryker came by today. Because I'm the best there is at what I do. But what I do best isn't very nice. You're not an animal, Logan. What you have is a gift. Come on, fellas. That's that small town living. Man, this is a trap right here. <laughs> right. Stay in the car. I'm just going to ask nicely. In some kind of a hurry there, pal? Hey, hey, Are you? These guys must be mutants or something. Truck so we can go I'm trying to have a conversation there. Right. <laughs> you start something. Hey, guys, take it easy. <clears throat> Calm down. So please let us pass. I feel like she has something because she touched him. Yeah, it could be. Why would she do that if she didn't have anything? Like she's, she's got the that. ability to calm you down. Yeah. You have powers of persuasion. It's a gift. You see? Do you yeah, right. You have those powers over me? Mm -hmm. Well, you didn't touch his shoulder. Yeah, she did. Oh, did she? She was touching both of them. Why is the moon so lonely? Why? It means the Wolverine. There you go. Oh, the origin. The lonely man who howls at the moon. Oh, no, sir. Oh, 
Man. Is that a Wolverine head cut off? His senses must be like real different because that would not have been what I thought, you know? If I saw a wolf head. Bro, she better get to stepping on that gas pedal. Yeah, why would you let him scratch your car up? We better go touch his shoulder. At least there ain't a body though. Maybe she's alive. No way. Bro, Logan's about to go cane and able on his butt. It's really jacked up, Victor. Man, you gotta gut this dude for this. That's jacked up. Why did he do that to him? Why did he do that to Logan? Because he's evil. He just wants to spite his brother for walking away from him. For choosing a human lifestyle. Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. Brainy, get my bourbon and Jack Daniels. <laughs> Why? You don't call, you don't write. How else am I supposed to get your attention? By being a good guy. He's a rodent, right? Because he had that little mouse on him. That's insulting, baby. Jeez. Yeah, we had that little mouse on his shoulder. Well, not if you're only in a hole of mouse and chill with you, bro. Man, I thought that came later. Them things, huh? wow. Well, no, those are like his, like, what is this a joke? They're not nice the metal fun. ones yet. Where yeah, they're so strong, though. Where is he? I don't know who he is. I can help you. It's six years I've been here. No one knew me, and then you show up, and the next day she's dead. I tried to wound you. Why didn't you tell me it was Victor? I didn't know. <laughs> Why? I swear on my son's life. I don't know. Victor's appetites were becoming too public. I had to lock him up. He felt I betrayed him. I can give you the tools to defeat him. And we can still save the others. I come with you. I'm coming for blood. So he basically did it to save his team from his own brother, who is a mutant who's just bloodthirsty and out of control. Right, he like definitely doesn't like humans because he's like keeps separating them. He's like, you're one of them. It's Nothing a classic like case of like two kids raised in the same house and one goes to prison. Mm -hmm. And one like does small mechanic repairs, pays his taxes and is a damn good citizen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When it starts, whatever the reason is that you're doing this, focus on that. Oh Maybe gosh. Babe, this reminds me of that vet moment. Oh, Pumba. <laughs> yeah. We're going to make you indestructible. You remember what we were looking for in Africa? It helped us create a metal compound so strong that you will be able to withstand virtually anything. It's called adamantium. Oh, I was way off. Adamantium. I can't put Victor down myself, Logan. To kill him, I'm going to have to embrace the other side. Become the animal. Let's do this. I almost forgot. I want new ones. Wolverine. Because she said that. Today we're going to create Weapon X. We're about to begin bonding adamantium to Weapon X's skeleton. Bro, this just seems so painful. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh yeah, we've seen this same thing before, remember? He was fighting, it was in X2 or X3. Ooh, they're about to start pumping them full of everything. Yeah, remember he did that to that person. Oh my. Did you see the skeleton shattered? Because all the needles went in and put so much pressure that it started to crack all around it. Oh my god. Pumping that hot metal in. Why is he thrashing like that? Why isn't he sedated? He feels pain just like the rest of us. But anesthesia won't work on him. That's why he had to volunteer. Heart rate 190, 195. Will he survive this? I don't know. Son. Heart rate will be on maximum. Blood pressure. 260 over 180 and rising. He can make it. He can make it. I love you. You're not an animal. It means the Wolverine. Man, that way, that sucked. Pulled off, though. Okay, rude. 
I feel like he's gonna jump up. There we go. Welcome back to the land of the living, my friend. So he volunteered. I kind of thought the whole time he was forced. Well, like the universe sort of forced him in a way. But yeah, he did volunteer. Like his circumstances kind of made him go to that decision, but. Yeah. Adamantium Reservoir is depleted. No rejection. Procedure completed. We did it. We did it. Yes. We're taking him to the island. The island? No. Island? You need to see if he's got brain activity first. We use his DNA for the 11. Ooh. Erase his memory. Erase his memory. Okay, Striker's not a good guy anymore. Well, you don't want this guy running around with his hand on his mind. Like, oh, true that. I think you heard you. True that. Oh my god. That ain't gonna work. Locked out! So his bones are all that metal, too? Yeah. Oh wow, I thought it was just the claws. His entire skeleton. Oh my gosh. He did an X. Dude, that dude, there's so much doper. That looks scary. What a random waterfall to be right there. <laughs> <laughs> Hunt him down. Take his head off. <laughs> They're like, we don't see that every day. <laughs> <laughs> is that their house? Yeah. I think there's a naked man in the barn. You. <laughs> Son, what in the hell are you doing? It's cold. Cold. You're not on the drugs, are you? <laughs> That's what I would have thought, exactly. too. <laughs> Going up the house. Some of my son's old clothes will probably fit you. Yeah. Cover it up with that, huh? I don't want you giving the old lady a heart attack. <laughs> oh, they were nice to him, though. Nicer than I would have been. Oh my god. It didn't look like that hurt him. I know what if every time Wolverine did it, he's like, ah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, ah. <laughs> they sound so sharp. You sleep okay? Yeah. This was my son's jacket. <gasps> oh, that's the jacket. Oh. I always wondered why he kind of had that motor bike, motor bicycle jacket look. I'm gonna take my bike for a spin. Test the suspension. Man, you're heavy. <laughs> yeah, I put on a little weight recently. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it fits you beautifully. I brought you some. <laughs> Bro, that is like the worst crap I've seen in a movie in a while. Why? They did not deserve it's that. It's that stupid dude. Weapon X oh, is in the bar. God. He just murdered two civilians. Blow him to bits. Wow. Let's see if he can survive that. He said he just murdered two civilians when Zero did it with a snipe. That's crazy, bro. Oh, man. <gasps> and they're gonna blow it up? Well, Dang. should have just kept it moving, man. Like, you gotta work your lesson at some point. That's probably what he's about to do in this right here. Oh, God. And he escaped on the bike. I should have played basketball. Blow his brains all over the road! Oh my gosh. Bro, whoever's looking at gunner down, firing his ass. <laughs> they need to move up or down. Oh my gosh. That was crazy, bro. Look at that, perfect. Oh. So, William Stryker survives that? <laughs> there just ain't no way. Zero, is he dead? Is Logan dead? <laughs> no, he's not. You tried to kill oh, me. there's Stryker. He wasn't up there. Logan? I was about to say, that's why I didn't say nothing. I didn't remember being up there. I thought he was for some reason. I thought he was driving. Got together. Wrong answer. After I kill Victor, I'm coming for you. You wanted the animal, Colonel. You got it. Oh my God, where's that Daenerys? <laughs> Zero never stood a chance. Not the 45. The only thing that will take him down is an adamantium bullet. 
probably know what that is, but is it's the same like thing that he's is made of his bones. I don't know what gun that was. Oh, it looked like a revolver. Yo hablo, I talk. Tu hablas, you talk. El habla. Somebody translate. Summers, sit up and take off those glasses. I have a headache. Is that Cyclops? Somebody else? A new Cyclops? Talks. Thank you. He the talks. old one. El habla. Oh. Because he's young now. Oh, yeah. He's got the glasses on. He has I a headache. Forgot. I forgot. Aww. Victor, he had to prove he was better than you. Quite a few months later myself. Couldn't take rounding him up. Running who up? We hunted our own kind, Logan. There's a special place in hell for the things we did. Oh, wow. Yes. Why? Striker said we'd be making a difference. So that's what Logan was about to have to do. I mean, it makes sense though, right? Down, Logan. Remember that stuff in Africa? What'd they do to you, man? Don't ask. Listen, Zero said something about an island. Does that mean anything to you? Nope, but maybe Duke's knows. Where is he? He's here. But I gotta warn you, he developed a bit of eating disorder. That was like Butterbean. <laughs> Hey, Fat, Fred, um, <laughs> so you remember that girl when she was about 85 pounds, huh? Oh, that's funny. You're still so funny, Logan. You know where Victor is? No idea. Even if you tell me where Victor is, come on, Bob, for old time's sake, huh? Mm-mm. Oh, so they're gonna go try to kill him. Not Scott. He immediately knew that was Victor. Wouldn't you if you saw claws on the window? Oh. <sighs> That's the epitome of what you're talking Please about. Don't. Exactly. You see how dangerous that was? Hey, where's Victor? Victor's a striker on, on the island. They, they run it together. What? You know what? Victor will be with striker? Yeah. Oh, they're working together. Yeah, oh, no. yeah. What? On the island. So are they like experimenting or like torturing all these people? What's the island? It's where Stryker takes them after Victor's caught them. Takes who? Mutants. The rumor is that Stryker's doing experiments on them. They're yeah, that was that Mutant 11 that he was talking about. I what happened to them. <clears throat> right. To. You think that alkali places that? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, there you go, man. Where is it? Where is it? Logan Stryker kept it real secret. But, <laughs> uh, and a uh, prisoner escaped there once. Who? Uh, his name was Remy LeBeau. The, the, the guards at, at the prison called him Gambit because he kept taking all their money at poker. That's all I know. <laughs> Striker up to Fred, what's the end game? He's taking their powers, trying to combine them somehow. Bro, that is That's so I scary. Know. I know. There's our dude. Are you Remy LeBeau? Do I owe you money? <laughs> no. He's the man in that place, ain't he? Then Remy LeBeau, I am. Is that the dude who played in Friday Night Lights? I have no idea. The one we watched? Nah, the actual TV show one. He's the one who's always like Texas forever. Mm-mm. Don't hurt him. You my brother's new babysitter, John. I ain't Bradley, Victor. And your creepy black coat don't scare me. Really? Victor Creed. Who's that? Works with a man named Stryker on, uh, on an island. Just need to know where it is. You know? Why would you think I know that? Well, because I know who you are, Gambit. You're the guy who escaped, and you're the guy who's going to take me back there. There's something I always wanted to tell you. No. You're predictable. Those are mighty nice That was crazy, but that's rude. I sort of saw that coming Maybe though. You took me vortex just like him. Now, Bub, you listen to me. So he thinks he took him? This man's got to fight Shim Lim, huh? He thought he took him? Yeah, he thinks that he's working with him or something. He just don't trust him. Come on, Logan. This has got to end right now, bro. Two years I rotten in that hell and I never. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. And I ain't never going back. Shiny. I can't with that hot Yeah, why does he gotta run like that? It so still just seems man. so inefficient. There you go. Son of a bitch. Where are they, brothers? <laughs> You're gonna die for what you did to her. Can't you just go away? Like, why is he here for? I'll put a couple of them 20s in my pocket, though. No one will know. Right. Victor! 
<laughs> That's a nice stick. Oh. <laughs> Did you put them off? Okay, shit, here's a deal. So you're gonna take me to this island where I can kill Creed, Stryker, and pretty much everyone you hate in this world, you understand? There it is, the island. Three Mile Island. All right, you ready? It's now or never, let's go. About time. He's about to just jump out. Good luck. Likewise. Oh, well, that was nice that gave it to do that. <laughs> Everything all right? Are you ready yet? A few more hours. And he will respond to my mm. commands. Absolutely. Yo, was that metal leaking out of his eyeballs? I don't know. They put the glasses on him. So that was Scott? This is like an Alcatraz for mutants, huh? Logan, welcome back to the war. I want to know why. I needed your powers for the pool. For the what? The mutant killer. Deadpool. Years of searching and refining, finding the right powers that can coexist in one body without ripping it apart. My son was the first piece of the puzzle. Logan, you were the last. You made Weapon 11 possible. I asked you to help, but uh, said you wanted the quiet life. I've learned that nothing motivates the men in your family like revenge. I want to know who it is. Whoa. So she was on the other side? Who are you? Oh, she's real, old friend. Do you really think we'd just let you walk away? Dangerous man. We like to keep an eye on dangerous men. Tell him about the day you died. They gave me a shot of hydrochlorothiazide. It reduces the heart rate so low it appears you flatlined. The whole thing was a lie. Don't be angry with her. It's real credit to your species. Kayla's mutation is hypnosis. She can influence people as long as she touches them. There you Not go. A useful tool in a seduction. Kind of like it's Mantis. Never real, my friend. It was real for me. I told you if you came down this road, you would like what you found. Dang. I'm just a fool who got played. He recognizes it's all just a little manipulation right know. now. But I ignored my instincts. I ignored what I really am. That's why he doesn't anymore. But that won't ever happen again. That was wrong, Kayla. Well, she didn't do it on purpose. He's basically holding her hostage. Yeah. She had to lie. Colonel. Not now, Kayla. I've done everything you've asked. See? My sister. Oh, she's holding her sister over. You said over. if I helped you, you'd let her go. Kayla, it's not as simple as that. Her mutation is unique. Quite beautiful. We just need a little more time to analyze it, that's all. You let him go. Let's go. Victor, please. You can't let him go. You can't beat him, Victor. Give me the adamantium. Test King. We had a deal! You would never oh, survive the operation. That. No, I thought they were going to fight right now, and he's going to... I can take anything he can. No, you can't. Favorite soldier, Victor. Be patient. Your time will come. He's using us. How about this time? You die for real. Go. Your little mind games don't work on me. He was ready. Just finish on Logan. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. All that rage. Do it. Logan! You're not an animal. Oh, yes, you are. Do it. I don't know if I was her, I'd probably just want him to kill him. <laughs> finish it.
deserved. Logan? My sister. They have my sister. Please. I didn't trick you into loving me. It was real for me, too. Please, I'm so sorry. They have my sister. Where is she? And who is she? <laughs> right? Uh, what if we Activate know her? weapon 11. The bonding process isn't complete. Just do it. Now! You know what I'm saying, though? You want some of those in society? Oh, that's crazy, bro. But some of them just want to mind their business. It's a tough dilemma. I, I, I still don't want to think about it. Yeah, I don't recognize her. No. She is diamond skin, they said. Oh, did you see Cyclops? So Cyclops, oh, he didn't know that was Logan, probably. Because he couldn't see anything, so right. that makes sense. Because you would think Cyclops would be a fan of Logan. Or he would be like, I remember you, you saved my right. life. That's 11. He's going to have him too, I bet. He doesn't even have a mouth. Whoa, he just has one long one. Oh, yeah, they called him Deadpool. Okay. Perfect. Like I was wondering if that was like the dead pool. I thought it meant out. like that pool that he was in. It's a right. pool that you go die in, but no. You like you die in or you or something like that. I don't know. They kind of look like Ryan Reynolds. Your striker finally figured out how to shut you up. Okay, so it was Wade. Oh, he has to type to him. Wait, you don't have to do this. All right, maybe you do. <laughs> What? Is this just a fight that never ends? I know. What are you supposed to do? But I must get the bullet. I can help. Let me at him. Go. They just ignore him. They have no idea what he can do though. They do. Go now. See, this made Scott look hard. They haven't let Scott like have a moment yet, have they? Yeah. Right. He's kind of been a background character a little bit. Yeah. Let's go. I can't go. Kayla, come on. I have to stay here. You take them. Go. She's probably really going to die for go. real, though. Because she's not in the other ones. Oh, um, man. She got shot. Yeah, he wouldn't be going after Jean, would he? Or is this years later? Yeah, it's years later. Left. What? We go left. You can't see. Trust me. Yo, Charles was talking to him. Did you see that? Was that Charles? Yeah, somebody telepathic. It must be Charles. That's who my money's on. Yo, something's gonna happen Let's for him to lose his memory. He, he has so everything. He has all the powers. Decapitate. <laughs> he typed that too fast. I would use my voice chat. Bro, what are you even doing here? Nobody kills you but me. Oh, oh shut up. Your redemption arc is out of here. Screw you. I thought that was like a brother thing. Back to back. Shouldn't they both just start doing this? I know. <laughs> you know like, or just like go jump over there. They should hold hands and just start swinging in circles with their claws out. <gasps> oh yeah. I keep getting nervous because they can get stabbed. Oh, and he has Scott's power. This is honestly a fight of who's gonna win because they're all invincible. Yeah, basically, yeah. Oh, we caught him right in the head. Ooh. Gotta watch your neck, boys. That's all it took. 
He decapitated him. I think his head is just... <laughs> nice. Stop! This can't be the way. This is the way. How do you know? I just know. Come on. Adamantine bullets. Let's see him heal with a few of these through his thick skull. You can't stop him. Even with that, he'll heal. His brain may heal, but his memories won't grow back. No, he... Oh, my gosh. So you're going to shoot him in the head with a bullet made out of the same metal he's made out of? Not nice, bro. This doesn't change anything between us, Victor. We're done. We could never be done, Jimmy. We're brothers, and brothers look out for each other. Well, they manipulated their other brother for years. Ask Loki and Thor. Even he's scared of that <laughs> joke. Is it that dude again? You miss me? That's his buddy. You know, when you said you were gonna kill everyone, I thought you may just have been exaggerating. Yeah. Do I look like a man who exaggerates? You're welcome. This kid's trying to get off the island. Split up. Go. I'm on it. Kill. Kill. Hey. I love you. I mean, she's still dead because of his brother, essentially. Yeah. Hey, I'm so cold. Listen to me. I'm gonna get you out of here. Understand? Let's go easy. Nice and easy. That's it. Whoa. Oh, because of Deadpool's head? Oh my gosh. Oh my god, not the butcher. You know you know. Oh my. And just another one in case? What's he gonna do with her though? Yeah, that's a better idea. I should make you pull the trigger, but that would make us no better than you. Oh, she Throw did it. Away. Walk until your feet bleed, and then keep walking. Aren't they in an island? That's exactly what I was about to say. It's only like three miles, bro. He's gonna have to walk laps around it. Do y'all trust that heli? I don't know. Who is this? Yes, you do. You do trust right, it. Scott. Let's go. My name is Charles Xavier. I'm a mutant like you. I can hear your thoughts. Yes, and I can hear yours. You're safe now. Come, we have to go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. And he's not in a wheelchair yet. Maybe we get to see what happened there or with that. You can come too. Dang. So he forgot. The kids are safe. Damn. He's like, who are you? What are the kids? Who are you? What do you mean, who am I? I'm the guy who brought you here. Now we gotta go. Where the hell am I? I'm a friend. Yeah. What's my name? What's my name? Your name is Logan. You need to trust me. We have to go. Follow me. Now! But he doesn't remember her. I know, but who wants to see a dead woman on the ground? Do you know her? No. Hey, these boys aren't going to like what you've done in this place. We really need to go. I'll find my own way. Good luck. They tore that island up. How the heck he's gonna find his own way? Oh, I guess he can walk there. Or he can walk across the, the bottom of that water like Metal Mario. The feet bleeding. Hurry! 
Colonel Stryker. Colonel William Stryker? Yes. You're wanted for questioning in connection with the death of General Munson, sir. Oh, he's guilty. Just letting you know. Well, eventually he isn't in prison. Eventually he's walking around trying to scrap with Logan again. Mm -hmm. Deadpool. But his head's cut off. Some mutants can grow their heads back. Did you know that? Oh, is that why that lizard was in there and it showed us that? I was like... Probably. He's... Oh, lizards grow their tail back, not their heads. Oh, his mouth's open all of a sudden. I guess it hit so hard it busted open. All right, guys. So that was X-Men Origin Wolverines. Babe, what do you think about the movie? Okay, this is me being honest. So... In terms of furthering the X-Men story and learning more about Logan and other characters, I really loved it and I really had a good time. But in, in a weird way, there was like a lot of like, how do I put it? Unnecessary, like little, like, I can't explain without offending anyone. Yeah, what you trying to say? Um, I would just say out of all four, that was that one was my least favorite, but not in terms of like the information I gained and like, I just feel like maybe it was a little corny. There you go. Okay. Corny. Yeah, I thought enough. I thought there was some corny. Are you talking about all the flashing pans of just like the, like all the just the head movement and the the deep looks into the camera? Are you talking about that like the corny like? Kind of. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So basically, the information in the movie was amazing. I actually like the series a lot more now that I learned more about. Yes, Wolverine. and I I will say it made me like X Men more this movie. I think this movie personally was underrated. I think when we title it, we'll probably go like the underrated route because I personally really really enjoyed the film, so I'm gonna back it really hard for that. Um, and maybe you'll learn to. A lot of the times, guys, when we watch the movies, we actually like them a lot more when we watch them the second time. Like we get them more, and I don't know. I guess there's something about the familiarity of like seeing something for the second time and i guess it grows on you but i right. actually like the film but i do get where you're coming Mine, from it wasn't it wasn't the information that was given because i thought that above all the x-men gave us so much more than any other but like the i guess like the the, the execution constant, of the film right the constant like fighting and like it was like i don't know there was just some goofy moments i guess yeah i mean it was very you know what I'm saying? How do you explain something like this to so many different people and get who, them to all understand, right? right? There was just something a little corny about the film, and it felt a little weird in its execution. I don't know how to put my finger on it. If you don't feel that way, it's not really a big deal. I mean, at the end of the day, the journey continues. And I, still, like, I liked it. It helped. I, I really liked it. I thought the film was good. I actually liked it. I liked it as much as some of the first three, really. Maybe it's just because it was more modern, but I, there was definitely some weird things. You know... When they take a lot of people, like when they took Cotton, for example, and put him in this movie, like in my mind, that's Cotton from Scream. Right. And every so, time I see him, I think villain immediately. Right. So I kind of hate when movies do that because I don't want to see Cotton as like another villain. I like him in Scream, but I, I you know, I, I get the man has to make money, has to work. So, I mean, I totally get it, but really enjoyed the movie, man. I think Stryker is just the worst. And I love, I love that it gave us the backstory on him because we already knew him as a bad guy, but like he had to go through a lot. To get back to where to meet up with Logan again. Well, you turn. It turns out that the reason Logan is the way he is, I thought it was because he was captured and forced to be that. Right. Way. That was the vibe I got the whole time. Right. But it turns out he basically made a voluntary choice, even though he was manipulated into his decision right. making, um, particularly by his own brother, which I thought was just right. Irrehensible. They motivated him to make the decision, even though he did make the decision. Right. Absolutely. So he basically had no control in the whole thing, and. You know, the coolest thing about this movie to me was not only learning more about the backstory and learning that Logan had like a love life and he's settled in the, I don't know where the hell that man settled at, but somewhere out in the middle of the desert or something. And for six years had a brother. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, one of the coolest things we also learned was Wolverine had his claws well before he got his claws. Right. They were just different. Right. So they just kind of made enhancements to him. William Stryker did. Right. We learned about the valuable thing that was found in Africa, um, Nigeria specifically called Adam. Adamanium. It's so much harder to pronounce in this universe, but right. I am getting some parallel universe vibes, like almost like when we go to Africa, like we enter some weird vortex and you know we suck into like a different reality, and within that reality sits this place called Wakanda, but they don't tell us about their metal and we don't know what it's called, so we give it our own name, and you know what I'm saying? Like, do you and get they the had vibe? a very familiar. It was like a parallel to that in this because right they weren't going to give up what they had either. So. Right, absolutely. They knew it was very valuable. Right. And I guess one of the coolest parts about the film is we did meet Deadpool. So I don't know that that's Deadpool, but I mean, come on, guys. Like, 
that's Deadpool, right? Right. Uh, it's literally the same exact actor, Ryan Reynolds. So yeah, we met Deadpool. So, so it was like cool. his origin story as well. So it was a guy named Wade who was killed. Right. So, but we, he was good with swords already, though. He yeah. was fire with yeah. swords. When we meet Deadpool, he's going to be indestructible, basically, and he's going right. to be like a Swiss Army knife. Any anything you need him to do, he can get the job but done. But is he so. going to hate Logan and Logan, and then he's going to see Logan and Logan's going to be like, I don't know you, dude. Who? What are you talking about? Well, I think potentially Deadpool might realize that he was also forced. You think they'll they might have out? that in common? I hope so. Yeah, I hope they, they, might, they, I hope they figure it out. Maybe together. Well, a lot of people love Deadpool, right? I yeah. mean, yesterday didn't we see Deadpool heads on the guy's car? Yeah, we see literally, right? We see it a lot. And I mean, I, I told you I played Fortnite, and I had there was like a whole season of Deadpool, right. but I didn't really know much about him. I just knew he had two swords, and he likes pizza. Well, it's really hard to imagine that so many people <laughs> would love Deadpool so much if he was like a bad guy who wanted to kill Logan the whole right, time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So something tells me he'll come over to at least maybe not the good side but the gray side you know what i'm saying yeah but i really enjoyed the film guys i don't want to blabber too much uh yeah the the thing about this film was it was definitely a origin story so in a way we didn't really advance the story we almost like got information so that way we can't advance then, the story and then you get more questions with that information because it showed charles right on absolutely. his feet which was like so we might learn about how he got in his wheelchair absolutely and also when Charles picked those kids up, maybe that's what influenced him to start the school because he had all these kids. Yeah, potentially. Like, so it could have been the origin story for all of this. Or stuff. maybe his origin story had already started and this place has already existed. And, you know, maybe he had already worked with mutants before because they've been around for a long time at this right. point. I mean, you saw how long it was. Right. And, and you know, and in this movie, it kind of showed like how they were, how they were treated throughout time. Right. And in the beginning, no one knew much about them. Right. So mom was like, what are you? Right. She so they're in know. war. They have these these guys who have all these incredible skills in war. But you have no idea that they're like they have the incredible skills because they're just using guns. Just like, but they're surviving through all these times because of their mutant skills. It's a good thing they ain't got no mutants over in Germany. Oh, right. Anyways, guys. So super cool movie, man. Definitely. I really like that concept, though. Of I like, do, too the early like 1800 the mid 1800s early on like i'm saying the movie so cool. the movie was great it just like the execution of some of those like scenes were kind of right. i can't explain them but though. then at the same time kind of like when the movie first started that first scene like that was, was crazy one I, of the best scenes yeah. in this entire franchise mm -hmm. so maybe the movie just wasn't very consistent guys it was really good but it just wasn't it wasn't just a straight banger from from start to finish but i really enjoyed the film i can't really put my finger on it but i bet someone can i bet someone can explain to us like exactly because i i actually did see a comment and i know people might refer to this as a spoiler but i saw a comment where someone said something about this movie in particular and someone said oh we forgot about that one which is crazy because it must mean that the rest of the movies are really good I, I can't forget about this movie i'm glad that i watched it yeah me too if i was watching these movies independently and i came across this one this one's not going to discourage me from wanting to watch the rest mm -mm. by any means no, i actually no, no, want to no. know more so right it gave you a lot of questions like i said because it was it showed us a lot, but then gave us a lot. And like I said, even if it wasn't your favorite movie in particular, it didn't mess anything up because it was a prequel. Right. So, I mean, you already, that was already baked into the cake when you agreed to watch the first three. So it was just probably a lot of information they had to squeeze into one tiny movie. And so, well, well I'm going to keep it a straight buck 25, dude. Prequels aren't really my favorite thing in the world, to be honest. I don't really love prequels. I just don't. I know we're going to do like House of Dragons. That's a prequel, apparently. You know, oh I my gosh. That. I meant, baby, I meant to say you. In this movie, like we're talking about origins, right? When I'm sorry to interrupt you, I know you had, you were on a thought, Why but I'm so excited because because <laughs> it was so cool that you caught this. Scott, whenever he was like, remember he, you would have said if we would have noticed, he would have noticed Logan because they would have like been familiar with each other, right. or like Scott would at least known Logan, but he didn't because his eyes were all messed up in that time, so he couldn't even like. Well, maybe he never knows, you know? Maybe he never knows what they look like, does he? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. But either way you caught that and that was really good i thought i thought yeah. because like i would never i would have been like how do they not know each other but you noticed the small detail and i thought well, it was cool my my very first thought was why does logan not remember scott oh wait the the memory got erased right but then obviously the next question and was, that, why that's why it? i was a little like wacky in this movie because i forgot his memory gets erased mm -hmm. but he kind of still has his logan vibes because he doesn't trust anybody and he doesn't want to let anyone in so guys thank you so much for rocking with us man thank you guys for hanging out if you are new here man like subscribe turn on the notification uh, bell guys we try to stick to a schedule but the reality is is we just sort of get these things out as frequently as possible but just whenever we can so turn on the notification bell so you don't miss an upload guys and we'll be back with a lot more x-men we got a lot more to go and we're gonna get through all of it and we got a whole a whole journey ahead of us guys so if you are new here man we have thousands and thousands of hours of tv shows and marvel and all kinds of stuff that we have to watch so we'll see you guys on the next one